so I left her at the airport and then I started crying and I thought Charlene put on a YouTube video distract yourself and then I heard the voice of a friend of mine say it's okay to actually sit in your feelings. It's okay to be sad, to take time to process. It's okay. And I thought, I don't want to sit in it. I don't want to be sad. I don't want to process. But then I know that if I don't process, I'll eventually explode one of these days something small will happen and then it will make me super mad <laughs> and I won't be mad at that thing I'll be mad at the fact that I miss my mom you know so I'm choosing to process I guess and I think talking about it and um, just making this video actually is kind of like therapeutic to me because helps me to process so I know that unprocessed emotions are just emotions that eventually keep boiling inside of you and then come out in a really I see it like vomiting <laughs> you know when you vomit you're like Phew. Vomit on the people around you, you vomit on your kids, you vomit on people really who have nothing to do with what you're going through. And it's unfair, it's selfish. That's what I've learned. I've learned that it's selfish for me to refuse to process, to refuse to feel what I feel so that I'm gonna vomit on my family and on my loved ones and on the people that are around me. So I'm choosing to grow up and I'm choosing to process my emotions. And I guess the reason why I'm doing this video is to encourage you to sit in your sadness and process it. Process it, process what you're going through. It's okay, it's okay that I'm feeling upset and sad that my mom is leaving. It's okay because it's sad. She has been here for almost four months she was here from the second that I got out of the hospital and it was safe and it was fun to have her you know and I knew that even if I walk into the house and my baby is crying I knew that she was taking care of her well you know I knew that my child could be safe with her I was able to go out with load because mama was there you know and now mama is not there anymore <laughs> and I have to figure out a few things um, you know and I can't take my afternoon nap <laughs> because she won't be here so things are gonna be a little bit different so it's okay that I feel sad about it but I just want to encourage you to process process go to therapy and process the trauma that you've been in <sighs> process things in your life that have hurt you it sucks it sucks to sit in it it's easier to actually go on netflix and watch uh, a series and be absorbed in that and distract yourself whether you are distracting yourself with um alcohol or you are distracting yourself with sex or you are distracting yourself with porn or you are distracting yourself with um you know netflix instagram gosh or you are distracting yourself with a book i have a friend who will just go and immerse herself in books however you distract yourself stop it because you will vomit on the people that are around you you will vomit on them and it's disgusting, it's selfish, it's not fair. 
so go and process if you need to cry it's okay go and cry if you need to um, scream it out you know it's interesting my daughter is four and recently we had a parents conference at her school where um, they teach us parents to teach our kids how to process their emotions in a healthy manner and isn't it funny that they're teaching that to four-year-olds and you have us adults <laughs> who don't know how to process our emotions you know and they say it's okay to cry it's okay to be upset it's okay to feel all the things that you're feeling but the most important thing is what do you do with those emotions right so you can write it out. I talk about um, journaling and how journaling has saved me in some seasons of my life. Um, therapy has saved me, you know, but process, process, process. I saw this video on YouTube, not on YouTube, on Instagram, where this lady was explaining how unprocessed emotions are like you holding a balloon under the water and you hold the balloon you hold the balloon and you try to act okay and you try to act like everything is fine in life right but then eventually one day the pressure of holding down the balloon becomes too much and then poof you explode and you know it's like a balloon exploding in your face and then some people will actually deal with their emotions then they'll be like whoa something is really off in my life and some people will still refuse and they will have another balloon and they will put it again under the water and they will refuse again to process their emotions ah but today i just want to invite you i want to pray for you i want to pray that you would process that you would process i feel better already <laughs> Honestly, I told you guys this year, this is the year where I'm going to be madly honest with you and you will like it or not. I don't care, but I'll be honest and true to myself, you know, not in a crazy manner. Um, hopefully God will give me wisdom. I don't mean go on social media, YouTube, whatever, and um, just have no filter in every manner i don't think that's wisdom but if it's something that can be useful to others and um it's something that you know can help other people why not anywho i just want to pray that god would give us the wisdom the strength, the courage to process so we stop vomiting around the people that we love and the people that are connected to us, okay? So Father God, I pray in the name of Jesus for whoever is watching this video, God, teach us to process our emotions. In the Bible over and over again, we see so many people, God, coming to you in prayer and just really being honest so i pray god that we would be really honest with what we're feeling with when we're upset i pray god that we would be honest with you um yeah and that you would help us process whatever it is that we're facing in jesus name amen amen